The Allen County Board of Trustees issued a 96-page response to 200 questions from petitioners and the public regarding what the petitioners call a book purge. Fox 55's Gentil Neal tells us more about what's been released. At the March 27, 2019 public meeting held by the Library Board of Trustees, those with additional questions and concerns were invited to submit them to the board via email by April 3, 2019. Now those questions and concerns have been answered. The Board of Trustees provided the following statement to FOS 55. The Board of Trustees of Allen County Public Library has released responses to questions received from the public. The Board has heard and considered the concerns and questions that were submitted. Trustees have been and will continue to be responsive. The Board is confident that the library will be able to move forward in a manner that best serves members of our community. When asked about the change in collection and whether or not the community desires to know about, react to, and express opinions about it, the document's response says the public constantly votes with their library card. They express their opinions every time they use an item. When an item is not used, that is also the public expressing an opinion. I asked David Carlisle and Melissa Herrick what they think about that. Nobody's reading them, so what's the point of keeping them on the shelf? Everybody should have their opinions voiced and, you know, have their concerns met or at least heard by the library. However, it is ultimately the library's goal to keep people reading their books. Otherwise, there's no point on having a library. The report states the petition amount for $1.4 billion is inaccurate because it cannot be known the number of books discarded. Their current system does not differentiate between the items discarded and simple records that were deleted for various reasons. In Fort Wayne, Gentil Nil, Fox 55 News.